Menu reader. Off. Um, well, I think I'm gonna leave the menu reader off. Now then, I don't think that I need to actually change any of this stuff. Oh, cool, an end user license agreement. That's exactly what I wanna see when I open up a game. What is this? I don't have an account with that, so I'm gonna skip this. Look at this guy. Cool hat, cool hat. Recommended graphical settings have been applied. Uh, sure, I don't, that's cool. I don't have to mess around with my graphics settings because the game just decided what, the the game just decided what to do. Auto save, interesting, interesting. Adjust the slider until the image is ver barely visible. What image? Oh, Hogwarts. Hogwarts logo. What do you mean barely visible? Okay, well there there goes everything. What what constitutes barely? Is that I can still see it there? That's fine, right? That'll be fine. Okay. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. We get to skip grades. Yay. Term begins on 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, huh? The ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Professor Weasley, deputy headmistress. Professor Weasley, what? That's not, that's not who the person in charge of the place was usually. Right, so I thought this game was set um, after the Harry Potter series. I was wrong. Uh, I, I parsed the advertisement incorrectly. This is set in, like, the 1890s or something. Uh, unique circumstances probably just means, hey, you're, you're coming in as a fifth year, right? Alright. I've spent way too long on this letter. Oh. Oh, no. A character creation screen. Oh, we're gonna be here for a while. That was quite something. Okay, I made a character. Invented a person. This is Charity Shrike. She's going to be the fifth, we fifth year student. Oh, I hit the start button. Okay, let's go then. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh, hello, man. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> um. It's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Huh. What? Okay, okay, carriage can fly, good. Who's that? Bowler hat guy. Okay, interesting intro, very attention grabbing. I didn't know what to say because, well, I don't want to talk over any of the dialogue, so when people, when characters are talking, I'm probably going to shut up. You know, unless something actively provokes a reaction, in which case, obviously, I'm, I'm gonna say whatever, or make, like, a 
reaction noise if if it's warranted. I'm not gonna plan that out, you know. This owl looks pretty uh secure. Scotland, huh? Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. <laughs> new? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Nor have of I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Nope. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Goblin Without Rebellion. I convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your Is there something wife, down there? Eleazar who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. Tube. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Hmm. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Okay. Owl escaped. That guy's probably fine. Oh, I can see those now. Dragons, uh, dragons on the way. Okay. And we got away safely. Squirrel. Very cool. Are you right? Doesn't sound You're like hurt. it. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wiganwell potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Alright then. Dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? Oh. An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. And this place is specific for what reason? I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay, okay. I've gained the power of walking around.
cool house. Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think the Porky was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. Hmm. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Well, uh, there's always the option of following the cliff. Oh, I can go faster now. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. <laughs> ancient okay. magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. What? Where are you seeing a path? There? Okay. Alright, dude. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh yeah, on it. For sure, for sure. Sorry, I got distracted by myself leaving footprints. Um. Basic cast. Cam oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So I don't really have to aim exactly. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, whoops. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Whoever left these pots here. Uh... Thank you, sir. Whoever left all these jars here wasn't expecting me. I hope we don't get lost in this cave. There's a bird over there. Ah, up there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Parkour. Classic, classic. Gameplay mechanic. We're close now, it's just ahead. What about this other way though? I'll be right there, Professor. Ayo. What? Oh, did I get money? It looks like I got money. Okay. I'll take 35. I don't know what that was. Galleons? How do we get all the way down here? Steady yourself. Repair. Oh. You put that whole bridge back together with one spell. All right. Am I allowed to... 
No, I'm not allowed to walk off the bridge. Okay. Just checking. Just curious. Almost there. Let's go to the cool building and see what's going on. Let's also kind of veer off to the side here and see if anything interesting is lurking in the corner. Nice. More money. Little thing. Okay, so is walking speed determined automatically by the terrain and the situation and whatnot? Seems so. Seems so. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Hmm. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Well, there's a cool statue over there. Oh. Minimap. Got it. Alright, alright, alright. Um, anything seem out of place around here? I don't know about that. There's this cool statue. Oh, okay. I am allowed to hop. Can't hop out that window, though. Investigate. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Yeah, this guy. Seems like the kind of guy who would live in a. What is this building? Was it a castle? I... Oh. Big relief in the wall. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Get, get off me, dude. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, right. I see. Uh, I see. The mini map is trying to lead me. Oh, there's a doorway here. I did not notice that. Careful of the ledge. I don't actually know, like, should I be breaking all this stuff? I don't think I'm gonna break everything. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Nothing important, I'm sure. What's this? Professor Fig! very reflective. Hey, wait. That's not... How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that Can I go in there? Like the glow on the port key container. Investigate time. What in Merlin's name? Yep. Godric's heart. Where Crystal's gone. We? I don't believe it. Oh, we actually did go into the room. Interesting. Is that is that actual fungus or is that a stone carving of fungus? Petrified fungus? Oh, hello. Hello? are kind of weird looking. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> <Ooh. clears throat> Is that how their eyes looked in the movie? <laughs> A 
Hello. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. This is Gringotts? Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> um. The key. I don't think that was mm -hmm. a main no entrance. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, okay. This way, then. Stay close. After you. I am absolutely hopping on the funny minecart. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> this is one of the rides at the theme park, right? Oh. How many vaults are there in Green Dots? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? All washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Okay. Just absorbing information right now. Professor, hmm? the armband the guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what oh, was that? I didn't. I was just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Fancy area. Was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Huh. Okay. for your help what are we seeing what um, do you suppose we should be looking for I'm not sure sir I wonder if you might the instructions for vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door cool what? Professor, that was certainly unexpected. The wall Let is glowing. Think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. 
Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Okay. Interesting. Did it work? Vivelia. Yep. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. On it. On it. There's also goblets. Candles. Wait, I'm sorry, hang on. Are you telling me that these candles have been lit for hundreds of years? Revelio. That's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Let's go. 